Well, milfoil was the first invasive species found in Lake George uh, back in 1986. It's been managed to varying degrees uh, since that time. Uh, however, over the last five or seven years, we've had a little bit more money to put into the program. So essentially we go out there and it's almost like picking dandelions. So you go out and you get the plant out by the root. It's a plant that's very difficult to get rid of, but we've been pretty successful at eliminating most of the dense beds of milfoil in Lake George. So milfoil is a very aggressive aquatic plant and it can grow very densely and kind of take over entire swaths of the bottom of the lake. So if you're a lakeshore owner uh, that has a dock and you want to go jump off your dock and it's completely weeds from shore to shore, from dock to dock, that becomes a problem. It's property values, it's your ability to recreate in the lake. Uh, it's also boating. If you're you know, boating in a lake and you're constantly having to clean off your propeller, uh, because it's covered in plants. If you want to fish, you can't fish in dense beds of Eurasian milfoil. Uh, two years ago, we took about 100,000 pounds of milfoil out of Lake George, uh, which is pretty significant, and then it dropped down to about 60,000. Uh, this year, we expect to take somewhere between 30 and 40,000 pounds of milfoil out. So that shows that a lot of the dense beds that we've been managing, the numbers and populations and size of those beds have been dropping pretty significantly. But this year, we have a new company on Lake George. It's called AE Commercial Diving out of Vermont and they're using suction harvesting, which is they have a diver go down and uh, physically remove the plant with their hand, take the root ball, and then they have a hose uh, that's got a slow suction on it, and they feed the plant right into the hose. It goes up onto um, a big screen on the top of one of their boats. The water falls out, the plant uh, stays on the screen, and then they simply scrape the, uh, the plant into buckets, which is offloaded for disposal later. Uh, it's been pretty effective, especially in dense areas. They can have two boats working side by side with two divers simply just going after each plant and the suction actually keeps the water much clearer which is nice. A lot of the problems with picking uh, aquatic plants is as soon as you pick the first one then it's all cloudy all around you. So it's been a pretty effective means to manage some of the dense beds in the lake. Um, this year we have about $260,000 combined between the Park Commission, uh, the Fund for Lake George and the Lake George Association and we've been hitting all of the dense beds uh, really throughout Lake George and we expect to probably wrap up in the end of September. Over the next three years, we do have some increased funding thanks to a Department of State grant. And by the end of that time, we hope to have all dense beds of milfoil gone for the first time in 30 years.